All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at AWS reInvent, and I am with Andy, who looks after the partnership at Click. Uh, Andy, welcome to the Robert Show. Uh, well, wanting to know a little about yourself, about the partnership uh, with AWS, but uh, yeah, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, so yeah, my name is Andy Smith. Um, I look after our technology alliances uh, globally for Click. Uh, so yeah, obviously that includes AWS, who happens to be the biggest technology alliance partner yeah. uh, that we have in our uh, cohort. That's awesome. Uh, I'm also kind of wanting to know more about uh, how partnership with hyperscalers such as AWS uh, helps Click's growth, uh, and uh, why are you so excited about it? Yeah, so we, we made a commitment to AWS um, because uh, we, we need a good foundation, we need a good partner of which to build not just our product strategy, but to offer a good strategy for our customers to go and digitize and to obviously to take data strategies um, right. through, to, through to fruition. Um, AWS did that for us and you would have seen in the press that we signed a strategic collaboration agreement back in June. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, congratulations on that. And uh, I'm pretty sure the customers are so happy with that because they get the best of the both the worlds, right? Uh, also wanting to know a little about the broader partner ecosystem. So you all have uh, so many partners and the ecosystem kind of uh, works very smoothly. So how do, how, how, first of all, for the audience, how does it work? Uh, who are the key partners and uh, what are the benefits of this partnership program? Yeah, sure. So um, from a technologies partner point of view, uh, we see obviously AWS is number one, naturally, that's why we're here. Yeah. Um, but also we lean in an awful lot with uh, Databricks and Snowflake. Nice. These are two key partners, not just for us, but also for AWS. So we have that collective, shall we say, because we live in the ecosystem. They're a core part of it. These are platforms to which we move and manage data onto. So um, yeah. yeah, two very important partnerships for us. Fantastic. Also, uh, talking about you know the partnerships, uh, customers play a very important role. How are customers benefiting out of uh, these partnerships, uh, like with AWS specifically, because we're here. Uh, what do you see, how are customers, um, what are customers excited and what are they talking about? Uh, because you've been meeting so many customers back to back. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it, it brings value to a lot of our customers because uh, no single technology partner provides 100% uh, mm -hmm. of the solutions for them. So they're making investments in Snowflakes, Databricks, AWS as well. So what we're able to do is to bring that collective data strategy together right. and manage it end to end. And that's why we've gone through the acquisitions. We've, we've seen additions such as Talent, uh, exactly. Attunity quite a number of years ago, which just extends that full platform. So you, you bring that into that sort of power of three between technology mm. alliances, ourselves, and actually the delivery partners such as systems integrators and also resale partners. Uh, right. So th it's that that brings a, a certain amount of value and actually execution for our customers. Yeah, I saw the click, you know, obviously we were following talent as well uh, separately when it was not acquired, but then when you all acquired, it was just a big boost for the customers because now they get, again, the they're in the world of click as well. So it just becomes an interesting story. Talking about, uh, since we are just around the corner of 2025, how are you looking at uh, the partnership and alliances in 2025? Uh, any Anything that you would like to share with our audience? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, so it's a, it's a, not a very well-kept secret, so our capabilities on SAP. So the modernization of SAP data is a, is a core, shall we say, pillar for us, yep. uh, both for AWS as well as for ourselves and as for customers. So liberating and modernizing that data onto AWS and using Databricks and Snowflake is core. Uh, it brings enormous amount of value. And this, right. is, this is foundational for AI-driven activities exactly. uh, in particular. So because obviously we're able to move, clean, govern, and actually make data right for customers who get exactly. true value from AI. And the options as well. The customers get the flexibility. The customers get you know so many options to work around. So it just becomes easy. Uh, one more quick question, and I'm pretty sure the audience, the enterprise leaders, uh, even the other vendors in the space would love to, you know, connect with you on this. Is about the partnership. Where can they, uh, you know, reach out, learn more about the partnerships? Where can they even apply for these types of partnerships with Click? Uh, which is the best place? Or they can connect with you, your team, or uh, is there a, is there a website where they can go and connect? Yeah, certainly. So there's naturally the website to which people can yes. make inquiries, but um, they can also come directly through to me. I'm, I'm easily contactable. It's just andy.smith. So that's my email. So reach out to me if you have a technology alliance, then yeah, come come speak to us because we're about value for customers. Fantastic. So if you think you have a good story and we can work collaboratively together, then come and have a chat. 
you know where to reach out to Andy. Andy, such a pleasure chatting with you on the Ravid show. You've shared some amazing insights. Uh, so thanks for that. Uh, we will, you know, we'll keep the conversation going. We'll keep learning more about the different partnerships and the great things that you're building. Thank you. Okay, thanks for the time. Thank you, everyone.